not believe that it would handle Everything came second to the pencil You're not even speaking to my friends, no You know I'm my uncles and Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Tuesday, October 9th, and this is Tillman and Harry bringing you today's announcements. For today's lunches, you have the choice of subs, nachos, and chicken patties. Did you know breakfast and lunch is offered to all students for free every day? Due to students not being able to stay in the cafeteria during lunches, the doors to get upstairs and the gates in the halls will be locked and until further notice. The SAT word of the week is manifest, a verb meaning to show or display. For example, the second grader continues to manifest the same eagerness to learn as when she was in kindergarten. Let's head on over to Good weather. morning, Comstock High School. It's Angel and Stuffed Dog, and we're bringing you today's weather. Guess what time it is? It's finally fall! <laughs> we're gonna have a high of 83 and a low of 67 with scattered thunderstorms and 40% precipitation. So bring your umbrellas. Back to, Back you. to you. Thanks, guys. Let's swing on over to Mr. Ree with today's Day in History. Hey, Patty Cake. Hey, V, what happened today in history? Well, today in history, in 1940, John Lennon was born. You know, on the fifth bite. Oh. Okay, stop. And why do you do that? Thanks, guys. Now to a sports update with Brandon and Evan. Thanks, guys. On Tuesday, October 2nd, the cross country team had a conference meet. The boys' team placed last, and the girls' team did not have enough runners to make a team. The cross country team works hard as they continue to improve and strive for a season personal best. The next cross country meet is Tuesday, October 9th at Lake Michigan Catholic. Wish them the best of luck. The JV boys football team lost against our rival on the other side of Gold Road Thursday. The varsity team also came up short. A great defensive game by Noah Jackson, Terry Lipsy, and Ty Robinson with a great offensive drive by Bernard Whitehead and Jared Plain. Last Wednesday, the boys' varsity soccer team played Parchment. They came away with a win, 4-1. to one. Scoring for the Colts were Evan Wienheis with three goals, Jeff Koss with one, and Alex Patov with two assists. On Thursday night, the boys' soccer team also played Constantine with goals by Evan Wienheis, Evan Wienheis, and David Thomas. Brandon Willis had many offensive opportunities, but simply was not good enough to score. What, what the? Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. Now down to Jimmy Cotter with uh, Cotter's Corner. Hello, wonderful people of Comstock High School. I just want to re-highlight our rep visit board because we've got four great college representatives coming in this week to discuss their institutions. Today, we have got Kuiper College here, a private school in Grand Rapids. Uh, tomorrow, we've got Purdue University in Indiana, Big Ten school with a premier engineering program. So if you're, if you're interested in studying engineering in college, and you're interested in getting out of state, this would be a great one to sign up for. We've also got Elma, and then on Friday morning, we've got the University of Michigan, as much as it pains me to say that. Prestigious, prestigious university right here in state. If you're interested in attending U of M, would be a great one for you to get to. Also, I want to highlight a uh, quick, quick highlight for uh, a quick congratulations to a senior, Kehlani Baumgartner. She was our first recipient of reporting, reporting a merit-based scholarship. She has been offered a scholarship to Davenport University because of her great GPA and test scores. Kehlani, great job. Congratulations. Seniors, make sure to keep me in the loop so we can highlight your successes over the course of this fall. Happy College Month. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Hobby Club is a place where students do what they want and what they like to do. Have fun playing games, drawing, or even getting some time to relax. Hobby Club will start this Thursday, October 11th in Room 221 in Ms. Greer's lab. Now to some announcements with Mrs. Meg. Good morning, Comstock. I'm Amber, and this is Patricia and Yali. And we're here with Mrs. Mack to bring you information about the Panama trip. All right, we are going on a trip to Panama this summer. Da 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 da. Uh, it's going to be an awesome experience. We're going to be gone for about eight days. If you have any interest in going on this trip, then you're going to want to come to the informational meeting that is happening this coming Thursday. The 11th, doo, 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 doo. it will be right here in room 107 and it will be at 6 o'clock. If you are not able to attend the meeting or if you are able to attend the meeting, I need you to RSVP. Information for RSVPing is on all of these handy dandy little flyers that you see around the building. You can either do the that thing in my bobber or you can go old school and go to the website. But it's going to be an awesome trip and 
anyone that goes on this trip is going to have an opportunity to get half a language credit. So you could go to, you could have Spanish one, then go to Panama, come back, have a half a year of Spanish, and then skip the second half of the year of Spanish. It's a pretty sweet opportunity. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't worry about the cost. If you want to go, we'll find a way to raise the money. If you're willing to work, I want to see you there. Me too. Sounds great. Hasta Thanks, luego. Thanks, guys. If you have any news that needs to be sent out, please contact any of us here at WBNC or email us at WBNC at ComstockPS.org. This has been Tillman and Harry on the WBNC, the white and blue news crew. See you, see you later. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head.